Hi, I'm Tina Gill with Worthwhile Style, and today I'm going to give you a few tips of how to determine your personal style. So first what I do with all of my clients is I ask them to go through a whole bunch of different magazines and pull out pictures that they're really drawn to. And then what I ask them to do is we go through it all and we take out different things of different features that they like. So really look at the overall pictures of everything that you choose from a magazine and see if it's the colors that you like, if it's very soft and muted, or if it's nice and bright, if there's a lot of accessories, very little accessories, um, whether the lines of the cloth or clothing is very clean and simple, or if there's tons of layers and textures and details. This will really give you a guide to kind of figure out what it is your style is. So go through your magazines and pull out pictures that you really like. Then the next step is to go through your actual wardrobe. And what I recommend is pulling everything out and putting it on a clothing rack. Or if you don't have a clothing rack at home, you can use two chairs with a broom handle in between. And this just gives you an idea of what you have in your wardrobe. Then start going through and seeing the different things that you have in your wardrobe. So I have a big mix of different things here. Um, some are from my wardrobe, some of them are not. Um, but this will give you a general idea. So if you go through your wardrobe and you're finding lots of things that have pattern, um, soft, lace, light colors, um, different interest like this with um, light colors and different patterns on it, you probably are a little bit more of a feminine dresser. Um, so really look at your different clothing. If you start going through your wardrobe and you're seeing some menswear fabrics like a Glen plaid or a herringbone um, or a nice tweed like this one here, um, you probably have a little bit more of a traditional style. A lot of people have a couple of different styles combined. So if you find that you have a lot of these soft textures and a lot of these kind of menswear inspired looks, you probably have more of a traditional feminine style. And so it's just a way to kind of generally see what you have. If you go through your wardrobe and you have a lot of simple lines like this, you know, clean, black, very minimalist looking, you're probably more of an elegant dresser. So it's just a nice way to kind of determine what it is you like, go through magazines, pull out everything in your wardrobe, and kind of see what you have. If you have a lot of dresses, you're probably a little bit more on the feminine side. If you have a lot of menswear inspired fabrics, you're probably a little bit more traditional. And the nice thing about finding your style is kind of figuring out how to make it your own. So if you love menswear inspired clothing, but you have a, this creative side where you have lots of bright colors and different patterns and textures like this, um, you probably have a little bit of creative interest in your wardrobe. So add, take a basic suit and add a fun color like a red shoe for a nice pop or a big chunky necklace. And that's a way to take a traditional style outfit and really make it your own with your creative side. So as you can see, there's lots of different personal styles for different people out there. Um, just kind of explore what you like. When you're out shopping, look at the different mannequins, look at the different styles that they offer, go through the magazines, see what you like, and then look at your own wardrobe and find creative ways to really show your personal style. I'm Tina Gill with Worthwhile Style. Thanks for watching.